Hey guys, Randy here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to take the opportunity to get out of the city uh, and just kind of enjoy. This is the start of our spring here. A lot of this should be melted in the next two, three weeks, but just enjoy the mountains here. I uh, wanted to go over and let people know, um, give you some ideas on what you could charge with our 30 watt solar panel, our smallest one, and you have the exact same capabilities and more for, for our bigger ones. So I have our 220 as an example, our 220 watt which is right on the, uh, the windshield of my vehicle here. And our new 220 watt is less than 10 pounds. We've redesigned it so it's, it's even lighter. But that gives you an idea of what it looks like deployed. But to give you some examples of what you can power, uh, here's, this is our 30 watt panel here. So lightweight, you're looking at just over a pound. This is your quick charge that's on there. And what that has is, let's just flip this around. It has a USB type C, a USB and a DC5521 charging port. And then it will have a digital display. And just so you know, the digital display only shows wattage when something, uh, when you have a device being powered from it. So some examples of what would be handy and things that I charge from it, uh, two way VHF UHF radios. I've got a Woshin here, eight watt. I've got a Bofeng 10 watt uh, with the correct adapter cables, which you can, uh, you either use a DC5521 or you a US, use a USB cable, you can charge those directly. And that's without the need of a, a battery pack, like this guy as an example. That's a Goal Zero battery pack. Other items that you can charge as well too. This is a 2700 lumen uh, flashlight, military grade. It has a magnet as well, so it stays up. This is a 4000 lumen flashlight. Either of these can be charged from the USB port on the uh, on the 30 watt panel here. Oh yeah, here, my watch. This is uh, Garmin Tactics 7. Um, this one, uh, if you needed to, this could be charged from the back of this as well too. Uh, any other devices like this is, here's a Goal Zero uh, Sherpa 100. I think they have a newer model now, but this little battery pack, which actually has an AC charging port as well, it's quite handy to have. This will charge from our DC5521 um, port you just need the cable and an eight, eight millimeter adapter and that'll charge from that as well too so yeah just wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea um there's other devices too like um, we do have a usb type c on here now the rule of thumb and this is going to be the same with mostly with our little 30 watt here if the you have the option of charging with the round barrel port which is right here the dc5521 uh the bonus to that is it's less regulated so you're going to get more power so I would always opt to, to power from that first. And then I would opt to power the one in the middle. There's the USB. I would power from that next. And lastly, unless I didn't have a choice, I would charge from the uh, USB type C. And the reason I mention that is devices that power are powered from USB type C. A lot of them are pretty power hungry. And so they do require more power. So as an example, um, let's, let's compare uh, iPhones versus Android. Just as an example of power hungry versus non-power hungry, I do find that the iPhones do require more power. So if you've got a really, really cloudy day, uh, they're going to power not as quickly or they might just shut, shut off the powering because there's too much cloud cover. Whereas the Android phone, which I'm using right now, uses, it doesn't require as much power to, to, to be charged up. So just an example with that. And we do claim, because it is true, with our larger solar blanket, so our 120, 200, 215, 220, and 300 watt solar blanket, not the 30 watt, you can charge a MacBook, uh, a laptop, uh, larger devices like that. The reason you can't with our 30 watt is the fact that it's 30 watt. Some of these devices require up to 45 watts to charge. And of course, this is only 30 watts, so it'll never put that out. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys an idea. Um, and I'll show you this as well too. Here's the back of the 220 watt solar blankets. There's the waterproof cover. There's your quick charge. You just see zeros because nothing is plugged in. This has two USB charging ports, a USB type C and a DC5521. So this definitely would charge a, a, you know, a MacBook or a laptop or a larger device like that that's being run by a USB type C or potentially a DC. 5521 because we do regulate these charging ports so they're not going to overcharge 
Uh, the other thing, of course, just to mention with these guys, who are 120 watt and larger solar blankets, they all have this Anderson uh, red SB connector. And the reason we have that is it allows us to, um, we offer multiple cables. So it gives us the option to provide multiple cables to you because there's no cookie cutter way on how to provide power for all of the um, solar generators or power portable power stations on the market. Um, if you have a you know six volt, 12 volt, 24, 48 volt system, uh, vehicle, trailer, what have you, there's no cookie cutter way. So we've got multiple cables, multiple different options for charging that way as well too. But yeah, just uh, I know a lot of people are looking at two-way communications. That's kind of why I talked about the two-way radios here. Um, you know, just, you know, God forbid if the, the grid goes down and all of a sudden our cell infrastructure goes down, well, then maybe you'd, you'd have to rely on, on a two-way radio like one of these two. Oh, and by the way, we do offer, and I'll have it in the description below, I'll have the pricing of our 30-watt panel. Uh, we do have a backpacking package as well, and I'll have the pricing for that. And that backpacking package does include both this 2700 lumen flashlight and this 4400 lumen um, so the flashlight and the headlamp here and it does include the DC5521 charging cable so the Bofangs are very popular with with a lot of people because they're very very inexpensive next would be the Woshans um, the DC5521 charging cable that we can we include with that would work with a charging cable for the Bofang right there so you could easily charge that from that and that, that will be included in the kit. But other than that, uh, guys, uh, definitely, uh, just so you know, we do have stock. Our 300 watts will be back in stock here just in the next few days. And then we'll be able to ship those out. Um, any questions, my name's Renny. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, feel free to ask if you want a specific customized package. Uh, we do this for people daily. We can definitely help out with that. And other than that, enjoy the rest of your day. We've got... Not here, but in the city, I think it's going to be almost plus 20 Celsius. Not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but that's that's nice for this time of year, being in April. Almost not even the middle of April. But yeah, this is the view. Got to take advantage of coming out and enjoying the mountains when you can. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.